Hello, everybody watching this, Stepping Stones families and kids. Uh, my name is Jake Greenberg. I use they, them pronouns, and I'm going to be reading you all a story today. Um, it's a story that I really liked. Um, right now, a lot of things are different than we're used to in the world, and it can feel uh, strange and a little bit scary at times. And <clears throat> what I like about this story is that um, it's about a little girl who's very creative and very brave. And as we're reading this, one of the things I'd like us all to think about is the ways in which God and Jesus call on us to be brave and to do things that are different, to keep each other safe and to keep ourselves safe. So that was just something I wanted to to uh, to say before we actually start the reading. So give me one second. I'm going to pillow that up right now, and I'm going to shrink whoop, whoop, to one little corner, and there we go. So the book is called Lucy's Mask. I'm just going to move down to this corner over here. Lucy's Mask. I'm really excited to read this with you all. Lucy's Mask. It's written by Lisa Circus Thompson, and the illustrator is John Thompson. <clears throat> I think they might be in the same family because they have the same last name. Let's start. There's a picture, and the book has a little dedication. This book was written um, for some people, and, and the author and illustrator wrote this book for all the workers in masks who keep us healthy and safe. I really like that. There's nothing to do. I can't even see my friends. There's nobody in the whole wide world to play with. Will you play with me, Mommy? We can play later, Lucy. I'm busy making you a mask. I love masks. I think there's Lucy running into maybe her room. Let's find out. With a mask? I can be whatever I want, and nobody will know it's me. I can be a detective. I will solve a mystery. I will search for hidden clues. Ooh, that's kind of a spooky house in the background. Or I can be an explorer. I will discover rare bugs. That is a really silly looking bug. Looks like it has six wings and it's pink and purple. Very, very cool. I will hunt for lost cities. Or I can be a pirate with a secret map. I will find buried treasure. It looks like to me that Lucy has a really great imagination. She really likes to play pretend. Or I can be a queen. I will be kind to all my loyal subjects. I will save them from fire-breathing dragons. Or I can be a superhero. I will save the world. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. I've been calling you. I finished your mask. This is a special kind of mask. Let's try it on. Now you're a superhero. With this kind of mask, you really will help save the world. So Lucy was pretending to be a superhero, and now she actually gets to be a real life hero. And there's Lucy walking outside and saying hi to a neighbor. Maybe it's uh, her grandma. Maybe it's someone that she just knows. So I really like this book because it, one, Lucy's really creative, and I like the different ways she thinks of a mask. She thinks of a mask as something that just goes over your eyes. But actually, her mom is making her a mask that's going to go over her mouth and nose so that she can keep herself safe from germs and keep other people safe from germs. So... I know it's kind of a, a different time than we're used to, especially going back to school with new and different rules and expectations. And I just want you to remember, 
like I sort of mentioned in the beginning, that this is a way that you can think about the ways that you, as a person, can help keep others safe and help keep others protected, as well as yourself. And thinking a little bit about how that's something that, in the Bible, we're called to do quite a lot, actually. So I just wanted to end there. Um, I had a really great time reading this book, um, and I hope it was a little bit helpful just to talk over some of these kind of difficult things. Um, I hope you all have great first days back at school, whatever that might look like, whether you're at home, on the computer, or you're going into your class. Um, I wish you the best first day. Bye, everybody.